Good evening, sir. Thank you so much for your lecture. And my name is Advait. I have uh, one question. Uh, in an era where we are trying to combat sexism and uh, sexism and racism, we have de we've developed a new problem, which is credentialism or meritocracy. What do you think that we, as individuals or as a collective society, should ensure that we should do to combat that problem and it doesn't further the gap that exists already? Yeah, well, there is. The, I, th I think that's very important, actually. I mean, and meritocracy has sort of got out of hand. And, you know, I'm a meritocrat. I grew up poor. And, you know, I got where I got to by working hard. And I believed in it for many years. <laughs> I, mean, I really thought, oh, it's much better me being in charge than the Duke of Wing Wang, you know, who, who's been <laughs> ruling this place since the beginning of time. Um, of course, when you think about it, hereditary privilege is no more ethically defensible than intelligence privilege, right? And, you know, intelligence privilege really has um, problems of its own. But when you talk about credentialism, I know Anne and I have thought about this a lot because this divide and widening divide between people who have a four-year university degree and people who do not is entirely artificial. You know, it's true that if you get an airplane, you would like the guy who's flying the airplane or the woman who's flying the airplane to actually know how to fly an airplane. That seems like a good thing, right? And there's lots of things that you want people well qualified. But what we're doing is we're using the BA as a criterion for social respect and even for self-respect. And that is a disaster. We don't need to do that. And we've got to find, and that would be one of the solutions that I think would really help, is other routes to self-respect and to dignity that do not necessarily go through the educational system. We stop despising people who don't have degrees. And that's part of what I was saying earlier about listening to the people who are being hurt. Um, you know, we've become this very self-satisfied minority of the best and the brightest.